11th on. You have House Speaker Johnson out with a statement today uh, saying if Joe Biden is not fit to run for president, he is not fit to serve as president, he must resign the office immediately. November 5th cannot arrive soon enough. And that raises a question about the world and how the world looks at this moment and whether we are projecting weakness and whether the president is up to it. You heard Congresswoman Dingell say she met with him and she thinks he's vigorous, but we heard that from a lot of defenders who then fell by the wayside since June 27th and everything happened after that. You heard it from White House spokespeople on the record on camera saying that Joe Biden was running circles around them at the White House behind the scenes. And somehow, Joe Biden was never able to actually show that on screen. And I say that not um, with disrespect, but just with facts. And you do not have a president today addressing the nation saying, I am withdrawing from this race and endorsing my candidate. It does leave a lot to the imagination, unfortunately. Like, Americans like to see full transparency and proof. Um, the the interviews he has done since the debate have all gone terribly. He stepped on a rake over and over again. And he couldn't even explain the other day um, what he meant by saying he doesn't plan on having another blue. And I, I say that because I was like, what is he saying? And in this time of foreign policy crises going on everywhere, our adversaries and our enemies and our allies need to hear us very clearly. Periods of transition from one pe person in power to the next are usually when a country is the most vulnerable. So I understand that Joe Biden, I guess, is saying that I'm going to focus all of my attention on doing the commander in chief duties. Maybe that is good enough. However, Brett, it's not anybody else except for his own White House who said he is only dependably engaged between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Let me ask you, what time did Israel hit the Houthis last night? It was between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. And so I do think that on the merits, the Republicans are saying, wait a minute, if you're not going to explain to us why you're withdrawing from this race, we are left to assume that it is because you cannot do the job now, let alone for the next four months or four years. Yeah, and if it's mm -hmm. not something that is that clear, uh, then it raises those questions, and those questions are going to be raised by uh, Republicans uh, on Capitol Hill in terms of, well, we need the whole scope of this. Has the White House doctor been telling us the truth about this situation? And all of this is going to be very important. This is a national security issue, um, and that's why we need to answer this question, not out of, um, you know, disrespect or, or anything along those lines. This is the job of the president. Let's bring in Arnon Mishkin, Fox News Decision Desk Director. Arnon, you know, your thoughts were here. Hearing that um, President Biden pulled out because he can't win, because the polls are leaning against him, uh, that's not.